Hey y'all, my name is Matt. I play guitar in a band called No This Is Patrick, and today I want to talk with you about some great music. So today we're talking about a pop punk band from Washington State called Second Player Score. The band likes to describe their specific sound as nerd punk, which is definitely accurate, but I feel they take influence from the full gamut of alternative and heavy rock as well. The one consistent thing throughout all of their albums is great sci-fi and fantasy storytelling. In fact, on the second concept album, one of their members actually created and homebrewed a beer for each track on the concept album, and I think that's super rad and creative. In fact, on their third concept album, Glorified, there's also an accompanying comic book. I said that weird. Accompanying. There's a comic book that goes along with it, and it's really cool. It's also called Glorified, and you should look it up. Today's song is Eye of the Needle, which is the first track on this album. Let's take a listen. If you can hook me with a single guitar right away like this, then I love you. I really like the sound of the drums on this as well. They're kind of garage rocky and open. It reminds me a lot of one of my favorite bands called Maximum the Hormone. And these vocals come in, which for some reason remind me of Ozzy, plus maybe a little something else. It's because it's following the riff, but not 100%. Still adding something new. Other than lyrics, of course. I like that little mini mega death moment there. And some of those backing vocals are starting to come in, fill out some space. And then they all come in together. It's so thick sounding. Cool little guitar fill there after the drum fill. Like that's a pretty simple line, but it's really powerful too. Finally looking forward to tomorrow. I like it a lot. The drums are just straightforward rock and roll, but they don't let up. There's so much momentum behind them. And I feel the juxtaposition between the mood of the verse and chorus vocals adds a really neat dynamic. And the pre-chorus here as well. I think I figured out. It's Ozzy plus Phil Collins. Those two, for some reason, the vocals remind me of that in a really good way. And they're really, they're not hiding the fact that they're a trio, but they fill up the full sonic space, especially in the chorus with all the harmonies. Which is just a great lesson in dynamics. Got a little uh, Dio rainbow style riff here. so epic sounding. It's relatively simple, but it's just very triumphant and almost mythological sounding. Like a charging into battle kind of thing, or battle cry. The solo is both epic and kind of relaxed at the same time. It's weird. I love a triumphant solo, though. It's 
almost like halfway between a Kirk Hammond style and a Slash style. Another one where you can sing along before the song's even over. I love the low end of that bass and the kick matching up too. The bass does a lot of the work filling in that sonic space, again, without stepping on anything. Oh man, the wo is coming in the background without sacrificing the main harmonies. Awesome. Sweet. So to sum up why I think this song and this band work so well, for one, they're not hiding the fact that they're a three-piece, but they're still filling up every bit of sonic and musical space in each of their tracks, especially this one. They also do lo-fi and raw really well while still sounding pretty and very, very listenable. They're also just really catchy and easy to sing along to. And I realize that just calling something catchy in a review video might seem like kind of a cop-out, but thankfully this isn't a review video. This is more of a, I really like this thing, let's like it together type video. And I really like this band and this song. So check out Second Player Score in their links below, including their podcast, Second Player Speaks. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for listening. All for sake of your